Art Show. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Take a ride. The weirdest guy I know of well, this Wednesday night. And how you did he go? Like, who's got the show? 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 Are ready? I was reaching for the kazoo as yeah, it was like yeah. three, two, one, yeah, bam. That, that's how close we cut this shit sometimes. The man behind the plant, how are you? Okay. Now, man behind the plant, human fish couldn't be here tonight. I'll explain that later. Couldn't be here. Last week, you tried to speak for the first time ever on the show and he shushed you immediately. It became clear that you and he have some sort of past where he doesn't like you. Do you want to explain it at all or no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man behind the plant now opting not to talk when invited. <laughs> Apparently only interested in interjecting upon his own free will. We've got Mimi on the hoops in the back. <laughs> and as you can see, there's some very beautiful paintings behind Mimi. Mimi painted all of those herself. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. And the reason she did that is because tonight's theme of our show is... Let's convince some dummy to buy our shitty art. <laughs> Stop the whole show. Art gallery opening! Fountains of coke! Let's make art! 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 Here's what we're gonna do tonight. We got this giant piece of canvas and we got a whole bunch of paint and shit. I don't really know what this all is. I myself don't really know much about art, but we've got a whole lot of people here who are gonna be artists. Random Ellen, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, welcome back to the show. Um, what's your, are you an artist of any sort? Do you do art? Bruh, no. True, my feeling no. on exactly Bethany Hall. How about you? Uh, I don't do art. Okay, not an artist. <laughs> Shannon O'Neill, your experience with art, your relationship with it. In first grade, I was told I have the stroke of Van Gogh. I would say that's true. In my Very experience, thick. I would say that's true. <laughs> Murph, the reservoir dog, the scourge of Gim Ghoul. Your, your relationship uh, with fine art. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't study a lot of art. I don't really know art. Uh, but I, I feel like it's kind of like the pornography saying, of like you know it when you see it. Yeah. So it's like you see art, like that's art, but then you see it, it's like yeah. that's just shit. Great so point. So who knows what's going to happen. Who knows? Me. And our, our guest, my friend, heading back to L.A., we've been hanging out in New York all summer, one of my favorite people, Tammy Sager. How are you? I'm good. That's, that's good. Now, are you a person who goes to museums, who practices art? No. No. Uh, I, I lack the hand-eye coordination to the point where I spilled water on myself two seconds. Before, <laughs> just oh. two seconds before we started. That's great. Anyway, <laughs> that being said, we've got six people who are untrained in the world of art who don't seem to really like it or appreciate it. But one thing I do know is that people pay a lot of money for that shit. And um, uh, people just throw bundles of cash at this stuff. And I've been to a few bad dates to museums. And I look at this stuff and I'm always like, yeah, it's great. But in my head, I'm like, why aren't you like watching TV? <laughs> this stuff is just like still and boring. No, I think I like art. Do you really? <laughs> Like, think of, like, M.C. Escher. Like, that's cool. M.C. Escher's all right. Right? Yeah, that's right. But I'll, I like a Henry Darger, but mostly because he's completely insane. You guys know about him? He was, like, this guy who lived in his room for, like, 50 years, and he was a creep, an, a lunatic in his neighborhood. Then he died, and they found all his art. That's cool art, because that guy was crazy. Yeah, but I like yeah. that that guy was crazy. I don't particularly care for his drawings. Yeah. Stuff like that. Point being... And I want to say right up front, we're not trying to buy or sell anything on the airwaves at m and <laughs> We're not allowed to do that, and we're not trying to. But what we are trying to do is turn this canvas into something beautiful, and then we'll just like go to a gallery in like Soho or Chelsea. That's where those are. And we'll be like, <laughs> we'll be like you should sell this, and then we'll have like a budget for our show finally. <laughs> and then first thing we do with the budget is we fly Murph down to Gimgul Castle and have him take those chumps on. Yes. Finally. Yes. Yeah. 
I bet we can get some. I, I bet we can get 10 G's minimum for this. Easy. Once we figure out how like this whole world of art actually works and functions. You should specify what you mean by G's. Thousands, thousands of dollars, ten thousand dollars. Someone's gonna come in here and give you ten literal G's. Yeah, I don't want that. Only, only American currency. Only American currency. So what we want is callers call up, tell us what's on your mind, tell us if you know stuff about art and how it works, give us tips. All of our artists, feel free, just as the spirit moves you, my understanding yeah. is that art comes from the soul. So if you're moved, there's all sorts of supplies. I want to thank everybody who brought supplies, especially Random Michelle, who brought a ton of stuff for us to use. And um, in turn, Emma picked up so much stuff for us. Call us up, let us know what you want to see show up in our art, or let us know your story. And as we're moved by those emotions that you evoke, it'll show up on this canvas. And then we'll all figure out how the rest of this process works. So whenever you guys want to get going, get going. In the meantime, we've got Angie on the phone. Angie, are you here? From hey. Ca yeah, what's up? Hey, I'm in LA this week. Um, my sister's getting married, and I'm pretty upset I'm missing this episode. I'm not going to lie. OK, well, we are sad that you're missing it as well. Do you have any opinions on art or what we should do with this canvas? Like, how does art work? Do you know? Because we're not sure. Yeah, I actually went to art school. Oh, you went to art school. <laughs> so what so. should we know about what we're about to do? Oh, Bethany's already started with some yellows. Andrea, fill us in, because people um, are going nuts. Just uh, just go with what you want. What you want to do. That's I mean, art is do. all kind of bullshit right now. I'm not gonna lie. I work at MoMA PS1, and sometimes I'm just like, what? <laughs> what is that? So you work at a museum and went to art school, and even you're like, what's going on with some of this art, man? <laughs> if you can just. If you can just find like a material and use it in a different way. Okay. Maybe if someone has something other than paint, like stick it on the canvas. Okay. I got uh, some feathers here. Matt Merce got some feathers that were dropped off. Okay. Looks like some of our a lot of our audience is also making their own art right now out in the audience. So we'll look for we'll look for alternative uses of of materials and substances. That's a good tip. What sorts of themes? are selling big this day, these days in the art world. Like, what's gonna let me walk down to Print Street and be like, yo, gallery owner, hook us up. This deals with, what is it, like masculinity? Is it, um, like, what are, what are the themes going around these days, Andrea? Um, unfortunately, with that stuff, you just have to know people, so try to know someone. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll try to know someone. Thank you for the advice. Thank you for the advice. Andrea, anything else you wanna talk about? Um, I'm just really upset I'm not there, but yeah, it sounds Samuel like L. Jackson's going to be at my sister's wedding. Samuel L. Jackson at your Who's sister's your sister? wedding. Who's your Siri? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Shannon just nailed that Siri joke. Um, that's pretty cool. Tell Sam Jackson. Hey, at your sister's wedding. Andrea, and I don't think this will disrupt your sister's wedding or make you uncomfortable at all. Tell Samuel Jackson he should be a guest on the Chris Gethard show. <laughs> so, you're going to see him anyway, so tell him he should come by. Okay, I can do that. Okay, thank you so much for the call, Andrea, and the tips on art. This next call, very, very excited to get to it. This guy was our last caller last week. Now, Shannon Murphy, you weren't here. This guy called up, said that his, uh, his, the girl he was in love with lived all the way across the country. I said, if you want to propose marriage to her on the show, you can do it on the air. He did it with using a fake name for her. But she <laughs> tweeted at me that she saw it and she's into it. So Cozy from LA, welcome back. How'd it turn out? Oh hey Chris, how are you? I'm pretty good. How about you? I'm good. I'm feeling good. Better than last week. She's into it? All right. So did you really talk about this with this with the woman you called Vanessa? I'm sorry, one more time? Did you really did this really go down? Did that did that call lead to a conversation about your, your blossoming relationship? Yes. Uh, you swagged me out. I swagged you out hard, kid. <laughs> I did swag you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what went down, man? Get specific. I got red paint well, here for love. I'm ready to be moved by you. Okay. And I'm hesitant to put somebody else's business out there on the airwaves. Only, but, your, um, only your side of the story, man. Only your side of the story. My side of the story from, from the beginning or, or from uh, the call or whatever. So I hit her up. All right, all right. Yeah, Cozy, I just wanted to know what happened, man. Okay. My okay. Bad. So she fucked with your show already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I hit her up, it meant something already. And I was like, yo, whatever, I got through the Chris Gethard show. Yeah. Uh, but you should know, you know, I hammed it up for the comedy sake. Because I noticed uh, you're not talking like as much of a surfer dude this week. 
Well, no, 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 no. And here's where she comes in, because she's basically the realest girl ever. And she just kept it all the way too trill on your boy. And she was like, well, to be honest, you know, maybe it's about thinking in a longer term situation in a more open framework. And uh, that is true. We ended up talking about it. And uh, I have to say, I'm honestly much more comfortable. Like with the whole arrangement, your shit was deeply therapeutic okay. all around. OK, so it helped it helped calm your nerves and lead to some forward motion on conversations you've been you've been meaning to have. That's, that's <laughs> Decent okay. characteristics of how it went down. Okay. Jeffrey put a menstrual strain on I the did. canvas for you. I did. I put a menstrual blood, uh, something evocative of menstrual blood on the canvas to represent the, um, the, the potential birth of new love. Um, maybe I'm, it's too vague for me to understand, but he just said, I don't understand what happened. <laughs> she said maybe a more committed relationship and a more flexible framework? He, yeah, basically, he, basic. I remember it like, like it was yesterday, because that show last week is burned into my mind forever. <laughs> he lives in California. He's doing the entertainment thing. She lives all the way across the country. She works for a human rights organization. Neither one can just drop what they're doing to be with the other, so they're living in this cross-continental torture. <laughs> basically, basically. <laughs> But you know, it's the internet and it's art and it's comedy that's uh, leading us to a path of more sustainable love. Internet At least that's comedy. how I see it now. All right. Well, I'm really glad that we could help. But doesn't a more flexible framework mean you guys see other people? Yeah, what are you saying? Are you saying that you guys have like an open relationship now or are you guys like committing harder? No, I mean, it's hard to explain. It's like committing harder by letting go a little more. <laughs> like, Tammy, That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> Tammy doesn't buy it, Coase. Tammy doesn't buy it. Things don't get stronger by fucking no, I... other people. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Tammy... dude. I'm sorry. Tammy... <laughs> Tammy just said things don't get stronger by fucking other people. I'm going to put a green streak under the red because maybe um, there's a barrier now that Tammy's created. <laughs> I mean, I can't, I haven't heard anything for the last minute, but I'm going to summarize my feelings by saying it's like you helped us bring the structure of the situation more in tune with the reality of the situation. Okay. Okay. Well, Cozy, I think that's, I think that's pretty great. I wish that I was as young as you and had as much California lingo as you to express my feelings appropriately. Well, hit me up, you know, I'll hit you with some on the low, low. Yeah, I like you a lot, man. You should call every week. <laughs> Keep us updated. And have your lady call in and tell us her side of things, too. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 All right. Good to hear from you again, Cozy. I'm glad things turned out well and that we could help. Um, I should mention the human fish, he returned to the sea because last week's episode made him too sad. What? He decided that the world of men is filled with too much tragedy and heartbreak. He said he had to go swim around in the sea for a little while, so that's where he is this week. He's not gone forever. Hopefully not. I, I'm waiting to hear from him. Um, Nathan from Missouri. Is this my friend Nathan Swagner? Yeah, this is him. What's up, Swag? Hey, not much. Uh, introducing your show to a friend of mine. Oh. This is his first time, so. How are they liking exciting. it? How are they enjoying it? Uh, so far, we're loving it. Yeah. Okay. Two thumbs up all around. So, Swagner. How even, man? Give us some inspiration for this art, some advice or some personal stories that can add emotion to this piece. Okay, yeah, I totally had a personal story. Okay, um, so okay. during Bonnaroo, me and my friends, we were leaving Radiohead, and this story has a lot of emotion to it, but yes, I, not yes, emotion, yes. but it has a lot of mixed feelings toward it. Okay. So we were, leaving, we were leaving Radiohead, which sounded great. And then we were walking over by this really nice graffiti artwork painting of, like, Sitting Bull, of Chief Sitting Bull, the Indian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that looked great. And then I realized when I was looking at it, I looked over, and there was like a 20-year-old girl with like a Pikachu hoodie okay. on. And I was like, is oh, everybody I listening? nostalgic because of Pokemon and everything. And then okay. I realized, oh, that girl is vomiting right now. Okay. So it was kind of weird. Okay. But, yeah, it was just a lot of stuff happened in five seconds. Okay. Murph, you focus on Radiohead. Bethany, you focus on Pikachu. Shannon, you focus on the vomiting. Go. Everybody go. Art. Make the art happen with that in your mind. All right, so Swagner, how's everything else going down there at Asbury U? Oh, everything's going good. Oh, right now I'm living life in summer mode, but uh, oh, yeah, I'll be back in Asbury later. Um, Nathan, Ready to rep your show to Kentucky. 
I still feel weird about that time you found me wandering around a graveyard in a haze in St. Louis. <laughs> I thought it was great. I just loved meeting you. I mean, it was great. And I've been meaning to check out that spooky abandoned house you talked about. Yeah, it was spooky. apparently it was really messed up. All right. Anything else you want to talk about? Because we need, we need as much inspiration for our art as we can find. I didn't catch that. What? Anything else you want to talk about? Because we need to get some more inspiration for our art. Um, nothing really. I just hope you're doing good. Uh, keep up the fantastic work. I'm sure you're going to sell this for thousands. Thousands. Ten, <laughs> ten Gs. Minimum. <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Random Ellen's Corner looks great. Thank you. Thank Tammy's adding you words. Shannon, you've got some 3D action. Vomit. Murph, you've got <laughs> feathers and R.I.P. Bethany, yours is adorable. Mine is by far the worst section thus far of the canvas. Um, but we're not going to be critical. We're going to all create this art together. And I know someone, I know, uh, I know two young ladies who can inspire us thoroughly. And I want to invite our studio audience to get up and uh, enjoy them, dance along. Very, very, very happy to welcome them. You can find them on Facebook at Super Cute Band. Let's go ahead and welcome Super Cute! <laughs> Hi everyone, we're super cute. I'm Julia. My name's Rachel. Um, we're gonna do a couple songs for you tonight. The first one is, uh, Woo. that's some feedback. feedback, is a cover by Melanie um, called Brand New Key and you guys can bop your heads or look around or stand awkwardly like people do at concerts nowadays. <laughs> Got a lot of options. Um, you ready? Mm -hmm. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Facebook.com, super cute band, check them out. I haven't been in this good a mood in about a month. Now that's super cute. Uh oh. As everybody knows, when 40 year old Goosey crosses in front of you, it causes slow motion to happen. It does cause slow motion to happen. Bethany, what did you think about super cute? They were super cute. They were awesome. They were awesome. Okay. I'm worried though. I'm worried if they're prepared for when they do get hips. And they do get hips. <laughs> what is that? What is that? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> are you guys ready for when you get hips? Super cute are, are talented, charming, I, I wasn't saying lovely, anything about the beautiful talent. young ladies. I wasn't saying anything. I think their talent's great. I thought that was awesome. That's when you walked away with it. And I was like, I was like, are they prepared for when they get hips? <laughs> they don't have hips. Shannon, continuing your tradition of saying bizarre things to young ladies involved in this show, which is a perfect segue. For Alyssa. Alyssa, welcome back to the show. How are you? Hi. So Alyssa, how's it going? Good. Um, the only really thing I have about art is um, 
freshman year I took an art class, and like halfway through the year, our teacher left because she had a brain tumor, I think. Oh, no. And that was we last new, week's episode. We that was the sadness like, episode. <laughs> That was for last week's episode, the sadness episode with brain tumor oh, stories. This is the only thing I remember about art. Okay, I need a darker color. Can I um, so we had like this weird young substitute, and she, I guess she was like a weird ballerina, and she would leave photo albums of her dancing around so that people would ask her about it. It was really weird. And then this year, three years later, I found out that my freshman art year art teacher died. Like, no, nobody told us, and all I remember is we continuously drew and painted still life. Alyssa, it sounds like if you take an art class, the teacher falls to a, a horrible fate. Yeah, um, that's because nobody liked art. All right. I think I know something about Alyssa. Can I, can I have her try and say it? <laughs> Alyssa, Alyssa, what are you doing next week? Oh, no. <laughs> what do you know? Um, we'll keep it our secret. <laughs> Alyssa, you're doing something with Shannon? She just found out. Uh, as I've heard. You don't want to talk about it, though. Well, I, I, I don't really have, I don't know. I don't have a problem talking about it. Does it involve beans? <laughs> <laughs> She wants to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> That's what in the world is going on? Super, super, super bizarre. I wonder, <laughs> does anyone have any ideas for what we can do to take this to the next level? Because this is looking like a, a I, bad kid's project. Well, we got time. How about we let time take it to the next level? Oh, I know who can take it to the next level. Oh, shit. A special guest who brought her own supplies. Oh, Welcome back to the show, Random Jean, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, oh, judging oh, us right oh, off the bat, yeah. Random Jean. Did you get him at a sample sale? <laughs> <laughs> Pearl, okay. Yeah. Well, Random Jean, welcome back. Why do you have so much paint? I didn't know you were a painter. Oh, um, I just dabbled in it a lot when I was in junior high, high school. Okay. Dabbled in it a lot? <laughs> <laughs> Is that dabbling? <laughs> Is that just <laughs> doing serious, something? But I, just did it. I didn't know people enough to get into art galleries. <laughs> okay, well, Jean, welcome back. <laughs> Feel free to get in on this shit and bring your own unique flavor back okay. to this. Let's go ahead, Christy from Long Island. Please inspire us to make this art. I feel like it's I feel like it's plateaued. How are you guys feeling? I feel like we have to come with Hello? Yes, Christy, welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Good. Um, so you guys are like showing your painting, right? Yeah, that's what we're doing. I really want it. What are we talking here, Christy? <laughs> We really want it. We can't. Um, well, theoretically, this is all theoretical because we cannot buy or sell anything on the MNN Airways, but theoretically, <laughs> hypothetically, in a world where money is not really being exchanged, <laughs> what are we talking here? What am I talking? I mean, I'm not like rich, but I'll give you like $40. <laughs> Christy, I'm going to say this in as nice a way as possible. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Okay, I was gonna try to soften the blow, but that was pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, we can't give this to you for $40. This is a piece of art. Seven different people have contributed to it physically, and callers from all over the country and world have poured their hearts and souls into it. $40? You insult me, Christy, from Long Island. Wait, okay, so I don't know what you're saying, but can I have it? <laughs> Christy, I've been talking about $10,000 Minimum. How much? Your, your how counter much? offer was 40. Wait, how much did you say minimum? $10,000. $10,000? Yeah. What does that mean? Look at this beautiful Wait, thing. I this... really want it. I'll do something else. You'll do what? She'll do something else. <laughs> Whatever it is, you got to do $10,000 worth of it. So be really careful with what you're implying. Be really careful what, with what you're implying. Um, $10,000. That's a lot of babysitting I'll have to do. Um, babysitting you? Well, that's a moment, Yeah, I'm really, I mean, Christy, I'm really sorry, but... Um, I can't even entertain this discussion if that's your starting point. Do you think you're going to have someone, do you think someone's going to actually pay $10,000 for it? 
Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Random Ellen, um, how would, what would you value this artwork at currently? I mean, right now it's about $750. $750? $750, yeah. Okay. All right, $50. $50. $50? That's only 10 more dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to, like, hang this over my bed and, like, just $50 is what I have in the drawer next to my bed. Okay, so I said 10,000, you said 40. Now you say 50, so I'll say 9,990. <laughs> How long do you want to take this bidding war? All right, all right. $60. Okay, 9,980. <laughs> okay. Is your dad no. help? <laughs> Christy, this next bit better be respectful towards this process and this piece of art, or else I do have to hang up on the show. I have to hang up on you for as much as I, I love your contributions to the show. Wait, what? Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm sorry, Christy from Mariana. I, I, I really like you, but you gotta go. You gotta go. Um, Lizzie from New York, welcome. Lizzie, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, how can we improve this art? What sort of themes? Can we put I, into I it? I have some advice for you. Advice, yes. Um, I think uh, you gotta, it's all about the process that yeah. makes it more valuable. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the fact that you got all these awesome people doing it. I think like a hula hoop lady should put paint on her feet and stand on it <laughs> or something while she's doing it. You should like write a joke okay. while sitting. Lizzie, hold on one second, because Mimi has iPod headphones and she, she does not ever hear any of the show, which I don't think people know. Mimi, I don't think people know that you, you are listening to music for the entirety of every show. Now, Mimi, it's just been suggested, and I don't know if you're into this, it's been suggested by a caller that you cover your feet in paint and hula hoop on this canvas to add to the art. I don't know if you're into that. No pressure. I can do that. If you want to. I don't want to pressure you. Okay. 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 So what color would you like, Mimi? Uh, Pick a color, and we'll get it going. Thank you for doing this. Can we cover the hula hoop with paint? Probably? No, we don't want to destroy the hula hoop. Those are sacred. Yeah, this is sacred. Those are sacred hoops. Um, so let's go ahead, Mimi. We'll get that going. Lizzie, great, great advice, and I want to challenge our future callers. More shit like that. That's the stuff that's going to send this stuff right into the Whitney, baby. Right into the wind. Hell yeah. Okay. Get it in the next biennial, 2014. <laughs> Maybe we can, Jean. Maybe we can. Okay, so Lizzie, thank you for that. And it looks like Mimi's going to get going. Let's give her some room, guys. Okay, wait, Mimi, let's get it right on the canvas. Step on the canvas. Right, but, okay. Okay, so Mimi's feet are covered in paint. Let's see, one foot. Okay. I can hold that if you want. Okay. So Mimi is putting her feet okay. in paint. Right. And she's going to hula hoop on this. Mimi on the hoops, the one and only. Yeah. And it's this. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. A wonderful organic contribution. Mimi, how are you feeling about it? Feeling okay. Okay. This is great. More paint. More paint. We need more paint. We need just, let's go to town with the paint. Okay, Mimi, I'm just going to throw some paint on the canvas. All right. Okay, aim for this. Okay. Lizzie, thank you so much. Lizzie, I think this is really working. Your suggestion. Is this no. Oh, okay, Mimi, you're going to keep doing that. Okay. But I'm going to ask you, let's everybody focus up, because art is happening, but that doesn't mean that when we have a very special, important guest, we don't stop everything. This person, the presidential election has gone into full swing battle mode. We all know that Romney has nailed down the Republican nomination. And out of all the independent candidates, I think our candidate is still sticking to his guns the hardest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, presidential candidate Connor Ratliff returns to the show. <laughs> Microphone work great. Hi, I am Langan Kingsley. Um, I am Connor Ratliff's new press secretary, um, and I'm I couldn't be more thrilled to be joining the Ratliff campaign. Yeah, it's totally legit. When you have a press secretary, that means you're on your way to the White House. Okay, so um, partially what I was hired to do. I think this 
think the mic is cutting out a little bit, but I'm used to a few uh, unexpected blunders. <laughs> um, Use the mic. Use the mic? It's okay. Working, I it's promise. working. Great, great. Um, <laughs> I, I just, uh, I'm here to manage the message, and um, in 90 seconds, we are going to be making a very important announcement, so I, I hope you'll all stay tuned. But right now, I am so glad Connor has finally gotten aboard with some traditional campaign tactics, and he will be airing the very first attack ad of the Ratliff campaign. Wow. This is the first attack ad of Ratliff 35. I have not seen it prior to right now. This attack ad isn't like any other attack ad in presidential history. Because this ad shows me being attacked by a bird. There. There. It's true, I was attacked by a bird, but I'm not going to let that stop me from becoming president. Paid for by citizens for a president in his mid to late 30s. Okay. Um, that was... That's a sympathetic attack ad because no one wants to be attacked by a bird. Right. Right, 40-year-old right, Goosey? Right. Right. <laughs> Uh, that was completely unvetted, but uh, I'm pleased with the way it turned out. And now we're so excited to be announcing at this venue, thank you, Chris Gethard, for this opportunity, uh, Connor Ratliff will be embarking immediately after the cease of this show a 35-hour Twitter town hall. That's right. Starting at midnight. 35 Ratliff 2012 for 35 hours. Exactly 35 hours. Exactly no, 35. Go, if it goes to 36, that's not a big deal. It's still basically a 35 hour town hall. It's the same thing. Uh, so th I'll answer any question. Obama and Romney, I guarantee you, they will not do this. They will not promise to answer any question on Twitter for 35 or 36 hours straight. 35 Ratliff 2012. Exactly. Okay. Um, and I think that's all we have, and we just want to end by saying together, God bless America. I'm agnostic. So I don't know. I mean, that sounds good. I, just, I won't say it. Okay, I believe thank it. you so much, Connor. Langan, welcome to the show. Managing the message. Mimi, great job. Stunning contribution. Let's keep picking up the pace, callers. Tell us what to do. Let's go ahead, let's get Mimi some napkins to depaint her feet. In the meantime, Katie from Virginia, welcome to the show. Katie, how are you? Hey, I'm doing all right. How are y'all? I'm good. We're fe I'm feeling really good about this art. Mimi just picked up the, uh, the intensity of the whole process. Do you have any advice for us on what we should do with this fine piece of art? Well, I did have a question about the feathers in the bottom corner. Did you want to work on the fall of Icarus a little bit more down there? Or is that what you're going for, Icarus? Icarus? Like he flew too close to the sun? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a pile of feathers, and it says our ideal, right? Murph has verified that, indeed, he had the myth of Icarus in his head. Thank you for interpreting our art correctly. Thank you. But uh, I did have a, a couple of goofy stories involving the National Gallery. Did you want to hear one about me or about an idiot I saw? Whoa, Shannon just popped a balloon. Violence is now a part of Whoa. this art. <laughs> Violence is now a factor in this art. Yeah, I'll hear your story about the National Gallery, Katie. I'm sorry? Yeah, I mean, what, yeah, it's, yeah, I don't, I can't control the callers. Do say what you will. Well, one involved me sneaking into a paid exhibit by an elevator that they forgot existed, and the other involved someone not recognizing Jesus in the Last Supper. Well, the thing is, I feel like I've heard both of those stories. Now. That sounds like the entirety of those stories, <laughs> right? You are cutting out of my cell phone. I'm sorry, there is a, a thunderstorm. I'm going to pull my boyfriend's Game Boy headphones out of the computer right now. Stay on your phone in, my in the thunderstorm. 
Okay. Um. Your, uh, your brother just tweeted that you should do a live art interpretation of your colonic story. <laughs> How would one do that? How would one even do that? <laughs> Murph's got the browns. You think it's a good idea, Tim? Bronze yellows. Okay, we got browns and yellows. <laughs> Banana yellow. Man's telling me to disrobe for this. <laughs> Man, what do you think, Murph? Uh, yeah, I have, I I'm tough. sorry. I have so many pieces of technology in my face right now. It's ridiculous. I have a laptop in front of me, uh, headphones in my ear, and a cell phone. Katie, in as I'm polite a way as I can say, we have moved on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. I know I'm sounding like a dick now. But things have happened. So many things have happened since your National Gallery elevator story. So many things have gone down. Katie from Virginia, thank you for the call. Okay. I'm sorry that it went the way it did, but please try again and next time have them Game Boy headphones in yeah, before you start. Would you, should, I, should we do this? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. So Murph, how should this go? Murph, you direct me in this. I should di disrobe and lay down on this and you'll, this you'll be in charge of producing... The colonic? I wrote, <laughs> I wrote my book about how I got a colonic. You're gonna, okay, everybody's gonna come together. Oh, okay. Uh, well, we can't be nude on m and so I'm gonna go short back here and make sure that I get that to my underwear. Um, in the meantime, who's that, Shannon? Uh, JJ. New JJ Mexico. from New Mexico, welcome to the show. <laughs> JJ, how's it going? <laughs> JJ, are you there? Yes! JJ, going once. <laughs> JJ, I assume you are unable to speak. So Murph, do you want me top side or down? <laughs> face up or face down? Whoa, whoa, how were you for your colonic? Face down. Face down. Face down. Face down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> face down. Right up here. Okay, I'll take some calls. Okay. JJ, I'm assuming, is gone, so let's go to uh... Let's go to Zane. Oh, Zane, our music book. Zane's in Cape Cod. Zane. Zane. Is something hey. on the phone? What's up, Zane? Hey, I'm sitting in the uh, parking lot. <laughs> Uh, Gethard's getting brown paint put on his asshole right now. <laughs> I'm assuming, are you watching the show, Zane? Yeah, I'm watching this right now. This is great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zane went to art school. Zane, you went to art school. So give some... Well, no, I went to engineering school, but I also majored in art. Um, and this is pretty in line with things, but I think the thing that prepares me most for this is I watch a lot of Antique Roadshow, and one way to, like, really improve the value of this is what I've learned is... Uh, Include pictures of boats for little children. Because that's the value of four. Well, after Gethard gets his dick off the canvas, we'll put some little children on it. So, so Mur Murph, why did you know dead on animals? Like dead animals make the value go way down. So, then no dead animals. No dead animals. There's already a death. There's already death. We've already got death on here. Is that I bad? That you should well, cross it out then. That's that's pretty baller. We can make it. We can make it a real. We can make it a living animal. <laughs> can we pick alive. up the pace on the colonic experiment? <laughs> <laughs> Make a colonic on your ass and have you roll over and put it on the canvas. I thought I you were gonna paint brown like shooting out of my. I thought about it. Is that what everyone else thought? <laughs> now you want me to roll over and rub my asshole on the canvas? <laughs> and what now? When? No, no. You <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. for the call. So we will add some boats, some houses. Can you touch that? Um, I think I can. My hands are pretty clean. Um, maybe I can't. Hold on. 
You can take the next call. I'm going to put my shirt back right. on. Eliza from Toronto. Hi. Hey, Eliza. What's going on? It's actually Eliza. Cool. But I'm calling to wish Random Sabrina a happy birthday. Eliza, you got it. All good. I was going to say that, but then I was like, no, that sounds like an infection. <laughs> Just kidding. Aliza, what's going on? Sorry. I'm calling to wish random Sabrina a happy, a happy birthday. Oh, random random Sabrina? Random Sabrina um, auditioned to be the random. She's from Canada. She got a visa. It worked out. Random <laughs> Sabrina. Yeah. Sabrina, Aliza. Okay, so you wish happy birthday. Do you have any, have you ever uh, taken any art classes? Sorry? Have you ever taken any art classes? Do you have any advice? Do you want to give us some inspiration? I have taken art classes. Um, one of the things that a lot of Renaissance paintings have are like strong political messages. So I don't know. It could be like. Well, that's what, sort my, of, that's what my pop. I don't know. That's what my pop balloon is. That's Connor's Sorry? campaign. <laughs> It's the struggle. It's his struggle. He's got like an uphill battle. He's struggling, but he's doing it, right? It's still there. Gether's uh, wiping his asshole right now. Come on. It looks like, it looks like I'm really wiping it. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. So some political stuff. We'll get some political stuff on here. That's good. Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Steven from Boston. Welcome to the show. Steven, you're on. Hello? Hi, Steven. How you doing? Doing all right, man. You have any uh, <laughs> tips for us or some inspiration? I can't really hear anything. Do uh, you have any anything, tips? But, uh, <laughs> one of my suggestions, kind of, I don't know, is uh, taking one of the balloons and putting paint on the balloons and then popping it. Yeah, I did that. Effect. It's not a good idea. <laughs> it splatters no, wide. Right. It's, it splatters wide, not on the canvas. So we don't want to get all it right. on the TV, so... Uh, well, my yeah, original suggestion was to cover Gethard and paint have him them roll around, but he already did that while I was on hold. Yeah. <laughs> Steven, you sound so sad. Yeah. And uh, actually, can I say hi to Jean? Hi, Jean. Oh, hey, Steve, what's up? No, what's up with you? Oh, I'm good. I'm painting. <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve, thank you so much for the call. Thank you. Hey, Banana Man, what are we doing now? Uh, call? One more call or the band. Your choice. Okay, Dave from New Jersey, welcome to the show. Hey, Chris, I think you're going about this all wrong. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> all right, so the painting isn't a big deal, right? That's not what you're going to sell for $10,000. It's the performance, the documentation, photographs, the performance part of it. That's what you're going to sell. Sorry, I got distracted. A member of the LLC just died. <laughs> <laughs> so the performance, Dave, you're saying more performative aspects like the nudity, like Mimi. But no, like you're like the Andy Warhol of this whole thing. Okay, I'm the Andy Warhol. Yeah. I like that. All right, but here's what you do, though, right? You, uh, you then can, like, cut up the thing into pieces and sell the, all the little pieces. Or you, you can think of yourself as, like, Marina Abramovich. With the emphasis on the bro. Okay. Not certain who that is. <laughs> Dave, I like your quiet intensity. I like your intensity, but give us specific directions. What should the people you see here be doing? I don't know what, I have no idea what you're telling me, but you, you need also to find someone to sell this for you. You shouldn't be selling your own work. Okay, I'm listening. I'm all ears, Dave. You need a gal, like a curator or a gallery person, and I think probably Gene is probably the person who most looks like a gallery person. Okay. <laughs> I think we send Gene down to the galleries, get her pounding the pavement on this. The trust fund helps, trust me. Okay. Somebody at the MoMA for you. Okay, Gene's going to talk to the MoMA. <laughs> Gene's going to talk to the MoMA. Hook it up. Thank you very much, that. Dave. Good to hear from you. Dave, I hate to I cut you short. Moma. Yeah, you did hear MoMA, Dave. You did hear MoMA. With the Peggy Guggenheim Museum in Venice. Okay. Gene's going to talk to some people in Venice. We're going to get this going. In the meantime, oh, yeah. I want everybody back up. They were so amazing last time, and I'm sure they're going to bring the heat again. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Super Q! Hi again. Um... This next song is about uh, different crushes that we've had on uh, rock stars through history. Um, and you might recognize some names. It's off of our new album. Yeah. It's coming out in September. September, September 25th. <laughs> Collaboration there to remember that date. Yes. Um, <clears throat> okay, you ready? Yep. 
five, six, seven, eight. Until sunrise, just to gaze into those blue eyes. I rewatch on my telly. P. Townsend makes me weak in the knees. Your roughly shirt and tight white pants. You blow our minds with just one glance. When you smash your gold guitar, you smash it on my beating heart. Now our friend with the white grin and curly hair, our Mark Berlin. Wise as lives beyond the past, teaching us that life's a gas. When you spiral, spiral with you They left you at home, you stare and you sat Space out and alone, nobody would clap You were the heart, the soul, the brain Or the art of a lame if you were sane Now Gary Glitter, you creep You perp, does your music outweigh the time you serve We separate the talent, the man Accepting that you're the greatest of glam Don't cut your hair, you'll cut my vice Alex Chilton, holy Christ A voice so raspy yet so clear You goofy dance without no fear Harry Nielsen, a true dear Melodies make me cry, a pointed tear We'd like to write songs with you But writing elevator sounds fun too Lou Reed, I'm sticking to you like Louie Become transvestites if you knew Higgy Poppy, fearless freak of the furthest thing from mild and meat Like to see you drenched in peanut butter and glass Now we have as your will did all Ladies and gentlemen, follow them on Facebook. Look out for that new album when it comes out in September. Banana Man, what should we do? Should we take a couple more calls? Yeah, take some calls. Let's go big with the art callers. What should we do? Blake in Brooklyn, welcome to the show. What's up, Chris? How's it going, man? I'm just, I'm just chilling on OK Cupid, drinking. <laughs> You're just drinking on OK Cupid right now. Yeah, I'm multitasking. Okay. Do you have any specific suggestions about how we can bring this art to the next level? Yeah, you got like 10 minutes. Uh, you can't sell... Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got like 10 minutes. You can't sell art with white space or canvas visible. You got to cover up everything. So you got to get you got to get all hands on deck. You got to start, you know, you got to put color everywhere. You got to fill it up. So. All hands on deck. Let's get going. No white space visible. I trust Blake. Blake, anything else? All right, yeah, to rally the troops. Good luck. Thank you, Blake. Good luck to you on OK Cupid, my man. <laughs> Tim in LA, welcome to the show. How are you? Uh, great, great, great. Good. You got to turn down um, your uh, computer, Tim. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I failed my freshman art. So I'm a terrible artist, but okay. I'm great at getting advice on how to make my terrible art better. Okay, I'm listening. Fill us in. You gotta just make everything as big as possible. I see you guys doing your little like tiny uh, detail there. You just gotta make the big that big purple thing you're painting. Make that as just big as possible. Okay, I'm gonna start just going bigger. <laughs> you're right, Tim. You're right. I'm feeling you. Okay, what else? What else? Tell me. Tell me. And also, I broke this shit. Red. That's how big I went, Tim. <laughs> blue and red. Purple is blue and red. Time, so I guess it's blue and red. I was just going to switch to pink. You're saying blues and reds? <laughs> Fuck you, Tim. Blue's I got to follow my heart. <laughs> <laughs> we don't got time. We don't got time to debate, Tim. Okay. Um, Tim, thank you for the call, man. Okay. Angela from Queens, welcome to the show. 
Angela from Queens. Hello? Yes, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. What can we do to improve this art? Oh, um, well, everybody needs to sign it. Everybody needs to sign it. Okay, don't anybody forget that. You already did with your asshole. And right? you have to make sure you take the permission to help you sell it, because otherwise there's no way in hell you'll get somebody to buy it for $10,000. That's true, that's true. Okay, okay, so we'll all remember to sign it. There's going to be a lot of forgeries of this floating around, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. Okay, Angela, anything else, any other advice as we try to quickly fill in as much as we can? Oh, you should get a certificate of provenance going, which proves who was involved with the making of it, where it was made, um, the, the date that it was made, and where it came from. And it should look really official on a letterhead or something. Okay, we can make a letterhead. That's not out of our, that's not out of our um, abilities, out of the range of our abilities. Um, I yeah. just want to point out what a beautiful job is doing over here. Gene, you're killing it up there. I'm just literally throwing paint everywhere I can. Okay. <laughs> Angela from Queens, anything else? Okay, let's oh, move wait. on then. You guys try this. Bobby in New York. Come <laughs> here, Bobby. Calm down, calm down. Bobby in New York, Bobby in New York, welcome to the show. You're like a retarded child that found a nickel. Hello? Bobby, what's up? Hey, how's it going? It's Bobby. It's, it's all right, Bobby. How are you? We're making art here, man. Yeah, Don Finelli is so hot. Yeah! You haven't called in a while, man. You haven't called in a while. Roberto, calm down. You're hot too, babe. Who? Sorry, my boyfriend's here. Wait, who's hot too? What? I didn't hear the second person. Who's also hot? No, my friend Roberto is here getting a little jealous because I love John Finale. <laughs> fair, fair. I understand his opinions and feelings on this matter. Oh, my God. He's getting so pissed. Gotta go, Chris. Love you, boys. Mwah. Okay, Bobby, how have you been, man? He's gone. He's gone. He hung up just like that. You're from that guy like once every five months. That's all he wanted to say? <laughs> okay, we have no more callers. You need to get some body parts on there. Body parts? Yeah, yeah. Banana man. Okay, let's, anybody in our studio audience who wants to come up, put their hands in paint and start filling in blank space. Let's do it. Not too much chaos and no mess. Nothing touches the MNN equipment. Let's start dipping our hands and filling it out. Anybody who wants to can come up. If anybody wants to bring up the art they've made and show it on camera, just wander in front of the camera and do that. <laughs> let's do it. Just no mess. Nobody trip over anything. We'll get it going. We're up. <laughs> we only have a few minutes. So, Goosey, that was not the time we need to move fast. Okay, let's everybody get it going. Every single person needs to sign their name. That's what I heard was everybody needs to sign their name, too. Okay, Banana Man, how are we doing on time? We're good. We got uh, like three minutes left. We've got three minutes, no calls, and a lot of art still to get done. So, let's everybody do it. Whoever wants to put body parts, We'll start with hands. If anybody else wants to go big, Connor Ratliff. Connor Ratliff, you had a lot of screen time. You already had a lot of screen time. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody want to show us the art that they made? Or get in on this art. I think this actually looks pretty fucking cool. Okay. Anybody want to call? 212-757-1393. Last minute advice. That's 212-757-1393. Last minute advice on how we can make this art. Something that'll fund a whole year's budget for this show. Let's keep it going. No mess. No mess. Random Alan, you went a little crazy back there. Did you draw a little crazy back there? All right, we got, oh, Rob from Toronto. We got a guy from Toronto, Toronto. Rob, how are you? Yo, how's it going? Good, any last minute advice on how we can kick this art up a notch? Yo, you gotta, you gotta talk it up. You gotta, someone there has gotta, has gotta interpret the meaning of it. Okay, who wants to interpret the meaning of this art? Julia, quick, go. Okay. All right, so I'm a huge art nerd, so I'm going to go for it. So okay. first of all, we've got the black contrasting with the feathers. It's sort of like a tarred and feathered reference. Tarred and feathered, oh. done. Oh. <laughs> um, Bethany's part at the top, which was like the yellow trickling down, that was sort of like a Clifford Still-esque homage. Clifford Still, son. <laughs> we've got, we've got the, the check marks over here, which are sort of like the checkers. You're playing the game. You're playing the game of the art world. I always play the game, kid. <laughs> And then um, the rest of it is sort of like, you know, you're evoking Jackson Pollock, but you're bringing it up a notch. You're taking it to new colors, new heights, new levels. Hell yeah, we are. And there's yeah. a penis up there. Julia, you nailed it. Thank you, Julia. I didn't even notice the penis. First time you came aware of the penis, 
That guy JJ from New Mexico got hung up on before. You're welcome. Back, how are you? Oh. Two calls, one night, JJ. <laughs> JJ, that's, this is making me sad. You tried twice to get in on this and it's not working, JJ. Yeah. You gotta fix your phone, JJ. I have a question. Yeah. Where is this going to dry? <laughs> <laughs> We get kicked out of the studio in like a minute. Don't know the answer to that question. I will have to take some responsibility for that as we figure it out. Um, George from Texas, sorry. Got to cut you off apparently. George, what's up real quick? George, have a great night. Thank you everybody for watching the Chris Gather Show. Thank you for everybody who's helped make this art happen. We'll all see what happens. Thanks to everybody who's been checking out this show, spreading the word. It means the world to us. Let your friends know that this exists. Thank oh, that's good. All right, everybody start signing it. I think we're going to make it happen. MG, we can do it right there, man. Easy, right? Nice. Easy. Let's do this. Let's do this. You guys are the best. Thank you for spreading the word. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Right, what a future do you see for America, and how do you see Ratliff? Are you still having problems getting reception right now? I'm just getting nothing here. Okay. Uh, well, you, you'll when keep... Outside. When I go outside. We'll be looking forward to a lot of tweets from, from everyone, and you'll be, you'll be answering all those tweets in rapid fire, I'm sure. Eventually, my dream is that all of the tweets from the next 35 hours will be printed up into a book, and that book will be leather-bound, and they'll put it in the Library of Congress. Hey, it's Random Orlando. So, uh, hi. Oh, Random Orlando. So nice to see you. How are you? Um... Oh my gosh, uh, we have uh, a fan created. Oh, there we go, perfect for the Twitter uh, town hall. This is at 35 Ratliff 2012. Uh, and let's, hey, 35, that's old enough to be president. He's got, we would prefer that the little pumpkin hands part stay off of it since that is the gaff that we're trying to get away from. But an amazing uh, shirt and uh, I'm gonna go outside and do some tweets. you should really stay. Um, I, uh, there were a few more, uh, things I, I wanted to say. Okay, great. Well, thank you for joining us and we are voluntarily leaving. Your Twitters, uh, 35 Ratliff 2012. It's the perfect time to tweet at me. I'm going to be up for 35, 36 hours and I'm going to be tweeting any...